This man felt so bored that he built a maze at home out of cardboard. The maze seemed to be small, but inside it was something beyond imagination. In the maze, the man got lost and some friends who came to help lost their lives. The man's name was Dave. He was in his thirties, but had accomplished nothing. While his girlfriend went on a trip, Dave built this maze in his living room. But to his surprise, the maze took on a life of its own and gained consciousness, running unchecked. Then Dave was trapped in this seemingly small but actually endless maze for three days without any food or water until his girlfriend found him after returning from the trip. Dave didn't bring his mobile phone with him, so he was not able to contact anyone. Luckily, his girlfriend was back early, but seeing the scene before her, Annie couldn't believe that her boyfriend was willing to stay in this tiny cardboard for three days. She told him to stop joking and come out quickly while shaking the cardboard. Unexpectedly, Dave screamed from inside, so Annie stopped shaking. She intended to dismantle the maze to rescue Dave, but Dave begged her not to do that, for he was really so focused on accomplishing something, and this maze was his heart and soul. Annie was ready to go into the maze to rescue Dave, but Dave stopped her, saying that it was very dangerous inside. He didn't want Annie to get hurt. Instead, he told her to call his friend Gordon. Soon after, Gordon arrived, looking at the pile of cardboard in front of him. Gordon tapped it to make sounds so as to guide Dave out, but the maze was so complicated that it didn't work. Then, Gordon called his friend Lena. There also came a group of people who wanted to make a documentary, a tourist couple, and even a vagrant on the street. Everyone was so curious about the maze that they all rushed in without thinking whether it was dangerous or not, lifting the curtain at the entrance. They found the space inside the maze was much larger than expected. Gordon touched the walls of the maze with curiosity. The cardboard cut his palm, blood pouring out. It was weird that the drops of blood were instantly sucked away by the cardboard. He was a little scared, but he continued to follow the group. Then, they passed through a curtain made of playing cards and came to a passage. Following the pattern, they found a space made of black and white keys. Annie went into the black keys and out from the other side. The guys were having a great time here. Annie followed the floating ribbon and came to a giant human face-shaped cardboard. It kept spitting confetti, and above it was an oversized paper crane. The paper crane attacked them and the door from which they had come in was closed. Annie found a passage in the mouth so they got in. That was how they escaped. A woman was excited to be in the maze of cardboard. But she accidentally stepped on a trap. She saw the gears beneath her feet start to spin at a rapid pace. She swallowed nervously. The next moment, the cardboard machete flew by her neck, and her hat fell instantly, with a large amount of red ribbon spurting out of her neck. They were terrified. They just wanted to rescue Dave from the cardboard maze. It was unexpected that, in this seemingly harmless maze, some of them lost their lives. At the same time, a young couple were playing hide and seek in the maze. They were chasing each other, enjoying themselves. And then, a rope suddenly appeared with a devious laugh, waiting for someone to take the bait. The man accidentally tripped over the rope, and the trap above suddenly fell down. When his girlfriend found him, he was already nailed to the cardboard, almost dying. There was still a lot of blood spurting out of his body, and even intestines. The woman found the crowd. Everyone was in a state of panic. They turned around, finding that the man there disappeared. Annie didn't understand why her boyfriend had built a maze that killed people. Gordon told her that it was the maze itself that came to life. Hearing this, Annie grabbed a paper cutter, intending to destroy the cardboard and escape. She cut into the walls, and the wind started blowing in the maze. Annie ripped open the cardboard, seeing a huge eye inside. They ran towards Annie, but she completely frowned and then she shouted at them. Get out of here! A monster knocked her out of the way. It had a strong body with an iron mean around its snout, panting heavily. This was the minotaur in the maze. They fled in all directions, just when the crowd was lost and trapped. Dave, the maker of the maze, appeared. He was like a hero, leading the way, but then he ran into a dead end. It turned out that Dave didn't know which way to escape either. That was why he was locked in the maze made by himself. Fortunately, his girlfriend Annie found a small door, so that they were temporarily out of danger. They entered a magical space. I was not sure if you were fooled here. The little teacup you saw was actually as big as a camera, and the big chair was about as small as the palm of your hand. So don't fall for anything before your eyes. Dave opened the gift box on the table and invited everyone to join him to get into the box and escape. Although the crowd looked incredulous, they still followed him into the box. They passed through a tube and was transported out. Miraculously, everyone was turned into cardboard. Annie asked Dave if it was safe here, but he faltered as he couldn't be sure about it. At the same time, 
the pipe started vibrating. Red smoke came out of it, Dave told everyone to run, and they saw one trap after another coming at them, and the minotaur caught up with them. But the minotaur has also turned into a cardboard cow. When everyone was laughing at its lack of attack power, he transformed into a muscular man. Fortunately, there was a pipe in front of them. The crowd jumped in. Then they were back to normal and got rid of the minotaur. The man walked into a cardboard maze. The machete in front of him was covered in blood. He saw the head of a woman on the ground. In fact, this cardboard maze could kill people. The woman just accidentally stepped on the trap and her head was cut off. And there was a minotaur who was chasing everyone madly. The group managed to find the previous entrance. When they all thought they were going to escape, the maze quietly expended itself. Dave realized that maybe the only way to escape was to finish the maze, but no one around him believed him. Frustrated, he came to an empty space. At this time, his girlfriend, Annie, approached him. She supported Dave, insisting on getting out of this hello with her boyfriend. Everyone regrouped. They used the materials around to build the heart of the maze, and then destroyed it. They walked through the tiny maze to a new space. There was a woman chained here. She was Bren, the one whose head was cut off before. Now she had become a cardboard. She was being manipulated by the maze. She kept asking people to high-five her to lead them into the trap. They had suffered a lot, so they wouldn't fall for it easily. Gordon took the director to uncover the truth about the Minotaur from Bryn. While Dave and Annie had to use the materials around them to make the heart of the maze. In the process of interrogation, Bryn said the Minotaur was a creature eager to be free. It was trapped by this desire and attacked everyone in the maze. Gordon took advantage of the gap to attach a rope to Bryn, ready to pull away and rescue her. Unexpectedly, the man of cardboard shattered and a giant hand appeared. It pulled away the camera boy. Red ribbon shot out of the hole. Dave had finished the heart. They found a record player and powered it up. The heart began to spin. The king and the minotaur on the cardboard kept fighting. It was time. Dave drew his katana and slashed the heart. The maze began to collapse. With pieces falling, the minotaur was trapped. Dave and Annie hugged each other. After a long time, Dave opened the cardboard and finally escaped. Annie, his girlfriend, was also unharmed. The absurd adventure was over. In all likelihood, this experience would be made into a documentary by the director. Dave reluctantly threw away the cardboard used to build the maze. His achievement was gone, but his girlfriend's love made him feel valued. A pile of cardboard didn't mean anything. But just after they left, the cardboard moved. The Minotaur actually followed them to the real world. It made a rock and roll gesture as it escaped the maze and became free. This may be the thriller movie that caused the least in production. There are so many traps and props in such a small cardboard maze. Do you have a moment wanting to create some strange things that no one has ever thought of? Just like Dave. Come to comment below.